That's not going anywhere. Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be looking at my 2000 uh, Harley Davidson Sportster. It's an 883 Custom. Um, I've done a couple of modifications to it. I've been trying to convert it into a cafe racer styled uh, motorcycle. Um, it's probably been in the background a couple videos, but let's take a look at the side of that. But today's, uh, today's mission, I'm hoping I can get it figured out, but I've got an oil leak that I've been dealing with for about, I'm gonna say three years. I've probably owned the bike for about seven years. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bike out into the sunlight so we can get a better look at it. So yeah, like I said, 2000 Harley Davidson Sportster, it's an 883 Custom. Um, I'll put a lot of bolt-ons on here to change the appearance of it. Um, right away, I don't know if you notice it, but it's got a rear wheel from a 2003 Sportster as a front tire. The front fender is the rear fender. I just chopped the, uh, the front of it off. The front fairing is a EMGO Viper. I think that's what that one's called. Got a, uh, got a six inch headlight on there. Speaking of the front of it, got to put a wider triple, triple tree here so that it would accommodate the larger wheel. Got a set of Clubman bars on there. I think that's also EMGO. The seat is Burley Brand Cafe. Got off the eBay. Uh, it came gold. I need to paint that. Try to make the try to make the whole bike match. Chop the uh, rear strut out. Put some taller shocks in the back. 13 inch stilettos. Uh, what else have I done with the bike? Oh, well, over here we've got a two into one exhaust. That's the uh, Super Trap. Got that on Amazon real cheap. Not real cheap, maybe $400. One of these lines down here underneath the tank, I'm pretty confident, is uh, is the reason why I got a puddle. Whenever you park it after a ride, you get a puddle that's about about that big. So pretty pretty sizable. So I'm leaking oil pretty bad. I look into that. All right, bike is jacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off the saddlebag. Usually run out of the saddlebag because I don't want to wear in the backpack because I'm weird. With the saddlebag removed, I'm seeing a lot of oil on the line coming from the oil tank going down. And the oil line has another elbow right here, and right here, I've got a lot of moisture, a lot of oil leaking right there. So I think this this line going up, going to this drain, all the way to the oil tank, I think this is the issue. 
So I'm not totally convinced that that is the issue for my leak, but before I start taking things off, I'm going to wipe everything down, get it really clean. I'm going to use brake clean on metal, and I'm going to use some uh, simple green on the plastic and the rubber. And I'm going to wipe it down, get it all cleaned up, and then see if it still leaks. If it's leaking from that area, I'll know for sure. So to give you guys a little bit of history on the bike, um, it's always leaked ever since I owned it. Uh, it'd be either clutch cable, or the primary gasket right here, or the drain plug. Replace all those. To find out, I also had a leak on the oil tank. On the very bottom of it had a pinhole. And that was leaking oil there. So I replaced the uh, oil tank with a used one on eBay. So I'm gonna go see what the parts look like uh, online, see how much they cost for oil, uh, oil hoses. Looks like I'm gonna have to replace that one for sure with the hole in it. But I think I need to pull off this cam cover uh, to access it. I think that's where the oil pump's at. But not only am I chasing down an oil leak, I also need to replace my rear wheel, my rear tire. Uh, this one that's on it right now has been on it for 10 years, a little over 10 years. Replace that, and I think I might replace the drive belt, uh, convert it over to a chain. Okay, just to recap, we know that there's a leak coming from this plastic elbow right here. Coming down all the way to the plastic elbow right here. And that's where I'm getting up most of the oil. And I wiped, it, I wiped that off a couple times. But the problem is, it goes to this drain and it also goes that way towards the, I'm assuming, the oil pump. So... Wheel off. We'll get a new tire on that. And we also know that there's a leak on this drain hose. Or no, the uh, oil hose. And I squeeze the oil uh, drain line right there. Right, see it? Right there. A little bitty hole. Leaking oil. So that tube has to be replaced. A little pinhole uh, leak. Can see there or not? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Definitely can see that. It's leaking. Made a pretty rookie mistake pulling this cam cover off. Oops. Pulled the cam out came with the cover. I had to pull the exhaust off to get the cam cover off there. But this oil line right here looks to be in good shape. It goes to the top uh, oil hose here. Next I'm going to pull off this one. That runs all the way down to here. And this is the hose that's leaking up on the very top. All right, that oil line's off. Right here. And it connects to that brass fitting down the bottom. Now I'm gonna take off this one. That goes all the way down to the other side. So it's becoming more work than I thought. I gotta take the battery off to access the oil tank because I have to remove the tank in order to get one more uh, hose clamp. So battery tray moved. I can finally get access to the oil tank bolts because the oil drain hose, I must have put that in there like that. Look at that, dummy. All right, oil tank is out. 
I can finally access this oil hose and pull all that out. Alrighty, I'm off to order some parts. Gonna have to get a new tire, new oil drain lines, and I'm gonna look to see how much it's gonna cost to do a chain conversion on this.